Hello guys and welcome back to This is Sparta and I'm in Pine. I'm Dave. Since the last episode when we played PSV and Rhoda and we didn't we hadn't been playing well, quite frankly. We'd won one game all season which was against Den Haag. Since then, things have gone better. We've scored 5, 11, 12, 13, 14 goals and only conceded four in the next five games. Absolutely annihilated Fortuna and Camber. I mean 5, 3 and 6 nil. The highlights for those games are brilliant. So, before we do today's Let's Play, let's watch those. Free kicking by Van Hoven. Five minutes and a bit played. Vrenz, 1-0. Good header from the centre-back. Captain's there. Captain's goal. Maxwell with a big goal kick. Fortuna still playing that very narrow formation. Playing a 4-3-3 now. Oh, that's Tuminello. Anyone in the middle for him? Nope. Here comes Breels, though. Ball down the line towards Ka Kaluta. Weren deflects. Oh, oh, scrappy! But Stockers scores. Very scrappy goal for Fortuna. One-one, straight from the kickoff. Leerdam, friends, and die. Playing quite well at left back now. Van Herven, Brute, Duarte. All the youngsters here combining out towards Dag. Another youngster. Good ball in needed. There it is. Deflected. Van Herven. Van Herven scores. One of our very good youngsters. Lehigh with a big throw. He's got like 19, 17 long throws. Ridiculous long throws on him. Van Herven. Inside towards Duarte. Towards Dag. Loads of room down the outside. Back it flied. Brute. Lehigh, he's going to whip a ball in. Nope. Duarte. Now Lehigh's got to whip that ball in. He does Dag. Oh, keeper, keeper, keeper. 3-1. Keeper should have kept that out, though. Lehigh with a big throw. Vrenz flicks it on. Breedyke. 4-1. Game, set, match, surely. They can't come back from this. Nor with a throw in. Stockers. Just leaves it for Brute. Shembury. Breedyke. Steps out of defence well. Oran Dag running forward. It's going to be five. Deflects back. Lehigh. Verhoeven. Shembry. It's five. That's game over. Asofsky with the throw in. Arse. Huh. Murich. Back to the arse. Back to Askofsky. Stockers. He makes it five. Two. There we go. Glad that popped up at the bottom then when it did. Askofsky. Stockers. Oh, he... Got his hat-trick. Good hat-trick for Stockers. 5-3. Van Herven with the free kick. Dag. I'm not quite sure what the keeper's doing. But I'll take the goal. Dag with the corner. Headed back out. Dag gets another chance to whip it in. He does. There's Van Herven. There's Tuminello. Deflect. Oh, keeper again. 2-0 up. And the keeper probably should have done better for both. Van Herven with the free kick. Duarte to Dag. Back to Van Herven. He's got a few in the middle. Deflects. Brute. Deflected. It's 3-0. And we don't deserve to have scored any of them. All three of them. Either the keeper should have saved or it's been a deflection. Lehigh with the long throw. Renz flicks it on. Manzoro! Lehigh's long throws are another weapon in our arsenal now. Loving his signing. Lehigh's long throw again. Got an assist for the last... Well, set up the last... And again! Exactly the same. A long throw into the middle. No one can deal with it. And we score. 5-0 against SC Camber in the cup. Friends to Ndai. To Leerdam. To Spearings. Floranus. Spearings. Out towards Dag. He's got Shembury in the middle. And he scores. It's made it 6-0. We've hit them for 6. Thurn. Brute tackles. Plays it out. Is Van Herven going to be able to control it? He is. Plays it back towards Goodwin. Brute. Good little play. Good little play. Good little passage of play. Leerdam. The registrar with the ball out towards Van Herven, who gets away from his man. Deep ball. Dag. Oh, he's getting a habit of scoring headers. That's three goal. I think that's three headers in the last three games for the Dag. Not much from Bean Hacker in this game. Goodwin. So Van Herven. To Spearings, to Leerdam the Registrar. 
partially tackled. Van Herven plays it, nearly plays it through. Back to Vrenz, though. Loads of space. They're just not pushing up NEC. Good win. Give me all, look at all this time we're having on the ball. Spearings. Ball over the top. Bean Hacker. Out towards Van Herven. Who's, I wouldn't, I'd still say he's a youngster, but he's not a youngster. I don't know. Oh, it's 1 0. Bean Hacker. He's a youngster. He's a regen. We'll call regen youngsters. 1 0. Brute. Van Herven. Plays it over the top. There's Bean Hacker running in his new role as a poacher. And there's his 16 finishing. 1 0. Miss Dan with the ball in. Oh, and we've conceded from the corner. Thought we might be able to hold on to the win, but 1 1 against Utrecht, not bad when they're top of the league. I hope you enjoyed the highlights. You join us on match day. We're about to play some AZ. AZ we're about to play. Completely forgot who we're playing them. As, you, as you've seen in the highlights, we are on a decent run of form. It'd help if I could get my words out. We're unbeaten in six games. Last game was an away defeat. Last, sorry, last defeat was away at PSV. We've only, actually, we've only lost one league game all season. That's not bad. We've done all them. So, let's get on to the team. At the minute, Bean Hacker, one of our youngsters, one of our regens who's come through, who we rejected interest from, uh, I think it was Man, was it Man United who came in for him? Barcelona came in for him, offered us a lot of money for him. I think it's about 7 million with add-ons. So, and we rejected it because he's that good. Or he's got potential to be that good. At the minute, he's played in three games and he's scored two goals. Average rate of 7.3. He's obviously too good for the under-19s, as we're seeing here. He's had played two games. He's got two man of the matches. So we're giving him a run. We've also got Lee Hyatt right back, who he brought in, who I'm sure you'll have heard me praising his long throws in the highlights. He's a brilliant signing. We've also signed on a free agent, Craig Gardner. I know, a bit out of the blue. Wasn't thinking about signing him. Then I saw he only wanted eight grand a week. And no sign on fee. I'd be quite... And his stats aren't bad. For a box-to-box, -box, I'd prefer to play him as a ball winner. But I've already got Leardam and I don't really need a ball winner. I need someone who can create chances. This guy seems to be able to do that. Kind of. <laughs> Penalty taken of 19. Oh. Gorgeous. 16 free kicks, 16 long shots. I was tempted to do that. And you know what? I might still do that. Thinking about it. Let Gardner play in that role. Let's try him in this game. So we'll play standard. We're going to keep it as playing mix slash direct. Get the ball out wide. We've stopped working the ball in the box. Because our play some of our players are not good enough at passing to do that. Is it Dag? Yeah, nine passing, Van Herven, 11, Bean Hacker, 7, Spearings, he's quite high, 12, still not great. So we've got rid of the work the ball in the box. But let's submit, see how things go. Team talk, let's go. We're expecting to win tonight, boys. Try and get as much green as we can, as is always the case, as I say in every video. But we'll hope they can. Bean Hacker's motivated. He's got potential to be an absolute world beater. And he's forced his way into our team now, whether we like it or not, because he's scoring the goals. They've got MNEK up front. That can't be Christopher Raya, surely. Okay, they've got a very good midfielder there, on loan from Celtic. At the minute, we're fourth on the table. We're doing quite well. Ajax have got about three games in hand on us, so they'll probably end up going back top. But. 18 points, because in the start we had, we drew four of our first five games, I think it was. I'd take fourth at the end of the season. I'd be happy with it, because I, I think I said at the start of the season, I wanted European football next year, otherwise I'll probably end up calling this save a day. Because we're just hitting the same level. where we, It's going to be very hard to break Ajax's hold on this league without any money, which the board are not willing to give us at the minute. Is that half-time? Yep. This is going to be a very, uh, let's say, poor, poor choice for a let's play, the way things are going. Because there have been no highlights. They've had eight shots, none on target. We've had four shots, one on target. Apparently only only one off target. 
What's happened to the other two shots? Van Herven, well done. First highlight of the game. Bean Hacker. Don't know why he didn't keep running then, but he did. Garcia to Ayer. To Garcia. Need to tackle him. Vren's partially clears it to Van Overeem. He's going to unleash one, maybe. No, nope, Paredes. That's deflected and in. M and EK. Second goal. This only his second goal of the season. I thought he'd be banging him in this league. Look at that. Who's that? Is that Van Herven? He just doesn't track his man. Yep. Drilled in. Def partially attempted to be cleared by Ndai. And then I think it deflects in off Breedike, that looked like. That's a poor one to concede. Right. Bean Hacker's not playing well. Tuminello. I know you can score. Advance forward. Let's bring on Manzoro on that side. Is that it? Yeah. Unfortunately, that'll be it. Let's go. You two, go and do your stuff. Even though Tuminello, I don't even know how old he is now, Tuminello. Maybe 19, 20? 19 years old. He's probably one of the most experienced players we've got. He's played for us for three years. He's played a lot of games in that time. Let's go attack him. See if we can push them back a little bit. Or we'll concede. Potato, potato. 65 minutes played. Van Overeem. This is going to be 2-0 for them, maybe. Oh, good tackle by Gardner. Shame it's broke straight. Broke straight to them? Broken straight to them. Oh, who's that? Friends, what are you doing? Maxwell, what are you doing? You've just cost us the game there because you can't head a ball properly. I can't believe he's done that. The captain just completely ruins it. And Emini here from that angle should not be finding the back of the net. Maxwell needs to keep that out. Terrible defending, right? Lehigh throwing. No one's been able to deal with these yet. Roche, Rocket, Roche. Let's go for Roche. Has actually dealt really well with that. Ball over the top. Two open. Don't let him make... He's made it three. m and has got a hat trick. Going attacking was a mistake. Go back to standard or we'll... We could end up getting absolutely hammered here. More so than we already are. The defence has just played appalling. Pass. Show some passion. Because there's nothing else we can do here. Lehigh 6.1. Maxwell 6.1. And Dai 6.3. Worst performance of the season by a country mile. And it ruins our unbeaten run of six games. Maxwell kicks it forwards. Van Herven. Are we going to get a constellation in the last 10 seconds? Gardner. Van Herven. Gardner. Nope. 3-0 loss to AZ. Terrible result. Defence had a nightmare. Passionate. No. Aggressive. I'm not happy. 5.9. I think that's... I'm fairly sure it's the lowest rate we've had on this save for a player. Well, luckily, there's no better way to get put that behind us than a Dutch second round tie against AFC. So I'll see you then. Welcome back. As you can see, we've changed a little bit of the team. We've gone for a new formation. Switched things up a bit because we are at home. We're against a team that we couldn't even scout because our scout didn't know what league they were in. And he couldn't get a good enough report. If we click on them, then the Tweed division, which I haven't even loaded on the game... So, it's completely, yeah, that. Completely something. We've gone Ryan in net. He's been moaning about first-team football. We're giving him a game. He played in the last cup round. He'll probably play in all of them. Because in all respects, he's not a bad keeper. He would start for us if Maxwell, anything happened to Maxwell, we'd be in safe hands with this guy. We've got, no, go, go back. Don't submit. There we go. Lehigh at right back, Floranus back in the team from his last round. Vrenz and Pinto gets a rare game this season. Gary Gardner, not Gary Gardner, Craig Gardner starts in the ball winning role. Duarte, deep line playmaker. Manzoro on the right. Hoffman, who's a youngster of ours, he's got some decent stats for an advanced playmaker. 
And the ones that are in blue, 14, 11, 16, 13, 14. Composure's not great, but we'll hopefully work on that. Things that worry me are this bit, but he's only 16. He will improve on his physicals. We'll give him a shot. Go back. And Bean Hacker keeps the place up front. We've On the bench, though, we have got... Swap them around. A few of our more experienced players, along with a couple of youngsters. Even though these are the only ones that will actually get might get near the team because we're only allowed five subs in the cup, which is really annoying because I'd like to have 12 because then I can bring on more youngsters, give more youngsters a run out, all that kind of thing. I am tempted to drop B and Hacker, though, give him a rest. Do I do that? Let's give Goodwin a go. Why not? He's not played very often. I think he's only played one. Oh, two games this year. One off the bench. He started one. Let's give him a shot. Submit the team. He needs a squad number. He can be number 50. Just got onto this screen. And I've just noticed Luka Jovic. Top goal scorer in the competition. Four goals for Ajax. There's also Finn Stokers there with his three goals that he scored against us. That's nice to see. We're not up there at all. Hopefully that'll change. Do that. I'll pick the team that's best chance of winning. We'll beat them. I hope. With favourites going with performance to cheer for. Oh, we need to win this. We have to win this. Bean Hacker's motivated. He's good in the air. He's got good finishing. His dribbling's terrible, but so long as we play him in, he'll score goals. Oh, look at that for a ball. Good win. Nearly in already after 19 seconds. Manzoro. Duarte going to keep it, keep the pressure on. Back to Lehigh. And that's the end of that one. But it's an encouraging start. Gardner, Duarte, Manzoro. I say encouraging start, we need to absolutely destroy these guys. Manzoro, Bean Hacker, that's what you do. You just give him a chance. He's good at heading, kind of. He's good at finishing. Get him in that box, the chances are he will score, especially as a team like AFC. 1-0, less than 10 minutes gone. We've had one shot on target, and we've scored it. It bodes well. It should bode well anyway. Manzaro has missed it. Well done, mate. I was thinking that was a that was a clear opportunity to make it 2-0. Gets another chance to whip it in. Nope, just what oh good man. Letting it go out so Lehigh can take his long throw. I I see what you're thinking. Vrenz, 2-0. The two centre-backs combine. Floranus sets up Vrenz from a Manzoro free kick. Bit disappointed that they didn't show Lehigh's long throw, but look at this. Manzoro, deep ball. Floranus, Vrenz reacts instantly. Captain's goal, 2-0. Gotta be game over. We've had a... Oh, look at those stats. 64% possession. 60. 11-3. Manzoro. Hoffman. Is that our youngster? Anthony Hoffman scores. Can't see it, but I'm actually fully celebrating here. Arms in the air and everything. Come on. I thought he'd be creating chances. I didn't think he'd actually end up scoring. Oh, keeper's got to save that. But do you know what? I don't care. Our 16-year-old has scored. How old's Duarte? 19. Such a young team. Well played, lads. Very happy. Don't concede. If we concede, I'd be really annoyed. We've got such a good defence out there. Like, this, that defence, last season, would have started for us in the Eredivisie. Like, Ryan. Maybe not last season, because we, we did have our starting keeper then. Maybe the year before that. Ryan, Lehigh, Floranus, Renz, Pinto. With their current ratings, they would have started. In fact, I think two of them did. Vrenz and Pinto definitely started two years ago. Florence was a youngster, still 
kind of is. He's only 20. Lehigh would have started for us ahead of Connor Randall. Lehigh with his giant throw. Friends. Hoffman out towards Goodwin. Gardner. Oh, he's got his first goal as well. Good man. Memorable moment as he scores his first Rotterdam goal. Hoffman doing all the hard work. Goodwin just knocks it across. Gardner finesses it in the bottom corner. Didn't need any power behind it. Who have I got who might want to run out? Brogno. There. Devinder. No. He likes playing as a centre mid. In that case. Let's just do this. That'll do. Submit. Bring on a couple of youngsters. Youngsters, Brute has been starting for us, but he's still a youngster. He's only 19, 18, something like that. 19 years old. So we'll give him another go. Give him another go. Give him another game. Pinto with the throw. Game's already over. Just thought we'd give a few players that haven't played very often a game. Probably shouldn't have risked Wrens in this game. Didn't really need to. Hoffman, he's had a fantastic game. Properly been fantastic. Not quite sure what that was, but... With 10 seconds left, I'm not that bothered. The defence has played well. We've kept a clean sheet. We've scored four. We've played some beautiful football with Hoffman in the team. Over the mood. If his physicals were better... He'd be starting for us now. Full time. Very happy lads. Well done. Have we got any of the top scorers yet? Nope. Just shows... See, we're just sharing the goals round. It's what we like as a team. We like sharing the goals round. It's not that we haven't got a striker that's scores 20 a season. Definitely not. Four different goal scorers. It's what we like to see. Before we end the episode, I'll show you the competitions at the minute. We're, where are we? Sixth in the league. 11 games, 17 points. Probably going to end up dropping lower because Groningen have got a game in hand. Feyenoord have got two games in hand on, on us. PSV have got three games in hand. Ajax have got three games in hand. We're going to end up being 10 points at least behind the leaders. At the bottom. Oh dear. Oh dear. And one of their draws was against us. Oh dear. But I'm happy anyway because Utrecht are still top of the league. They're still putting Ajax and Vitesse to Shane. I like how it's looking. We might end up having a new winner of the Eredivisie this year. Inbox, have we got anything interesting? He was apparently the best player. No, I think Man of the Match should have gone to Hoffman. Didn't get as high a rating, but he scored and he's 16. Get those physicals up, son. Well, we've ended on a high. Thank you for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.